Wesley College. My name is Michael Hendrick and you're watching Channel 4 News. Today we have a variety of news stories from the IT offices to the history of Appleby's residential student houses. Going international, we now have Connor Akeet interviewing German student Josie Bernard. Guten Tag, mein Name ist Connor. Das ist Josie. Sie ist aus Deutschland. Wie gefällt dir Appleby? Appleby gefällt mir sehr gut. Es ist eine sehr schöne Schule mit einem großen Campus und die Leute sind alle super nett. Es gefällt mir sehr gut. Ja. Was für Sportarten machst du? Ich spiele Tennis im Frühling. Im Moment probiere ich Basketball zu spielen. Es klappt nicht so gut, aber ja, aber eigentlich Tennis. Wo lebst du in Deutschland? Ich lebe in Osnabrück. Das ist eine kleine Stadt im Nordwesten. Wie ist das Wetter? In Deutschland? Ähm, das Wetter ist eigentlich wie hier. So, also ziemlich kalt und ungemütlich. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Ich denke, ich spreche Deutsch. Danke, Josie. I know you all speak German, so I hope you enjoyed it. Danke, Josie. Appleby's history looms large, especially amongst the four residential houses located on campus. Poles, one of Appleby's boys' houses, carries this historical tradition every year with new student boarders and events it draws in with Willis Hall. Reporter Mark Martoni has this week's History Minute with one of Poles' untouched treasures of the past. Mark? Hey Appleby, we're going back in time this week. In my three weeks of broadcasting, I have never done something this historic. Now you might look behind me and see like, oh, this is just a boring old beat up wall. Well, it's not. Follow me. The light bulb was invented in the 1800s. Now, for those of you who stayed in Poles, well, this is what it would have looked like if you had come here in 1990, prior to the renovation of this building. Now, it sure has changed, as most of the boarders would know that the majority of the Poles house rooms can house two students, whereas this one is only one student. Now, obviously, the furniture has definitely evolved over the ages, but it truly is like a very interesting room. As I'm sure much of you did not, many of you did not even know this was here. Now if you follow me, we can, we can see that inside of this cupboard above the sink has all the names of the students who stayed in this exact room. We've got R.T. Magnin, G.S. Tufts, S.R. Scott, R.T. Alexander, like all these guys are legends. And yeah, so tune in next week for another History Minute with Mark. Now back to you, Mike. That truly was historic. Thanks, Mark. Appleby College thrives on their technological privileges by using laptops along with softwares like Outlook and OneNote. Here's Asjad Majid with the people who make all this happen at the IT offices. Asjad? Thanks, Mike. So I'm here with Mr. O'Connell at the Williams Technology Information Center. Nice to see you again. So, Mr. O'Connell, what do you basically do? Like, what is your position as an IT guy? Well, uh, I am a help desk representative here at Appleby College. Uh, I've been here for about five years now. And I also worked here as a co-op student, actually, when I was in college. Okay. And um, my, I guess, primary role is to uh, provide IT support or general technical support for everybody on campus, parents, students, teachers, uh, whoever. Um, so everything from fixing computers like laptops and that to uh, fiddling with little electronic stuff like this uh, USB stick I've got here. So what here. are you basically doing right now? Like? Uh, well, I had somebody come in and uh, their USB stick uh, was damaged. You can see okay. I have it taken apart. So the idea is they have a USB stick like this guy mm -hmm. and uh, the metal end came out. Right broke one of the pins off of it. So he was wondering if we can get some data off of it. Uh -huh. Obviously it's broken. Right. So what I've done here is I've kind of taped the two pieces down to my little table here. And I've soldered with my trusty soldering iron. I've soldered a few wires on there and I'm trying to kind of connect this end back on so I can see if I can plug it into a computer and uh, get it working. Right. So um, what are like, what do you think uh, the most what, what do you think the common difficulties are that students face with IT related products here? <laughs> Not so much like this, actually. Oh. It's more uh, laptop related stuff. So, uh, OneNote syncing issues right now are uh, we're trying to kind of uh, iron out all the wrinkles, I guess. And mm -hmm. um, viruses are still pretty big, especially among the younger, uh, the younger kids here. Downloading games, are they? Yeah. <laughs> 
No comment. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. O'Connell. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. And back to you, Mike. Thanks, Azjad. In sports-related news, volleyball captain and athletics prefect Jordan Murray came to the ACTV headquarters to speak with us. Here's what he had to say. Hi there. I'm with Jordan Murray, Applebee's Varsity Volleyball Captain of the Year. Thanks for coming in, Jordan. Thanks. So, um, so tell me about yourself. How long have you played volleyball? Uh, this year is my fourth year of volleyball and second for the Applebee Varsity team. Cool. How, do you play outside of school? Yeah, uh, I play in Mississauga. Okay. And uh, do you have a leadership position on that team as well as a captain or? Uh, as a co-captain, yeah. So that's there's it. two of us. Yeah, that's cool. Um, so as a, as a captain of uh, the Applebee's, uh, the Applebee of all volleyball team and also as an uh, athletic prefect for Applebee uh, this year, what responsibilities do you feel that you have to bring uh, to the court on the day of the game? Uh, as captains, we try and fit into the group as much as we can. We uh, don't really put ourselves above or below other people. But what we are resp responsible for are things like leading a warm-up um, and bringing up team spirit when we're on the court. We lose a few points in a row, the captains really try and hype up the rest of the team and get them mm -hmm. going again. So I understand as, uh, as a series so far, you, uh, you started off as 0-1, mm -hmm. uh, a bit of a rough start. Uh, where do you see as a team, how can you move on to uh, better your uh, progression? Uh, more practice time. Uh, we just, we haven't seen the court that much. It's hard with all of the other Alphabet teams that are practicing, but get on the court more and uh, get some more chemistry between the players. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're, we're really starting to improve. Yeah. Uh, are there any teams in uh, the league this year that you could see as a pos possible threat or rivalry? Um, probably Crescent. Uh, Crescent and us have both played for Offsa this year. Mm -hmm. So we'll be playing against each other for a spot to go to Offsa. Okay. Um, so those games are certainly very important. Great. All right. Well, thank you for coming in and talking to us today. Thanks. Thanks. That's all. Thanks for stopping by, Jordan. And now here's Michael Shaw with the Riddle of the Week. Off to you, Mike. Hello, my friends, gather near. I have for you a riddle, now lend me your ears. If you have it, you do not tell. If you know it, you do not want it. And if you receive it, you don't know it. Think about it, give your address, but only one can be the winning guess. Thanks, Mike. Temperatures are getting colder, so make sure to get your jackets on. Here's more on temperature and weather with Osama Khan. This is your weatherman Osama Khan, and it's fall season. Leaves are changing color, a little yellow here, some orange here. And uh, yeah, as you can see, the temperatures are decreasing every day. We're not expecting them to uh, get much warmer. And uh, it's also pretty windy, as you can see by these leaves. And that's all I have for this week's weather. Excuse me, let me go text my dad now. That concludes our show here at Channel 4 News. You stay classy, Appleby College.